What's the weirdest food combination you guys have ever tried? Orange juice and tuna. How do you even eat that together? Put in a blender. You tried that? Yeah. Why? Bodybuilding diet. Bodybuilding diet. Did, did it work? You get swole? I don't think you understand what you just did. I wish you could smell what I'm smelling. I'm not opting for a straw because I feel like that's worse. Bro, I better be so jacked after drinking this. Tuna and orange juice. If this video doesn't do well, I actually might never post again. Bro. I put enough OJ I thought, but it doesn't really look like it. If I can do this, you can do anything. Go to the gym. Oh my God. I couldn't have imagined a worse texture in my life. Instantly coated my throat with like a film of tuna. I kind of feel like I have to try it a second time. Ugh. Nope. Nope. There is no salvaging that. I would rather be the whale than drink this. Uh, weirdest? I don't know, man. Can't say I've tried many weird foods before. There's this pub close to my place. They call this crispy chicken sandwich with peanut butter on it. The hobo. Holy fuck, is that thing good? What's some weird food you've tried? Oh man, too many things. Pickles and mayo goes decent with peanut butter. So I figured a crispy chicken sandwich, a little bit of mayo, apparently three slices of pickle and some peanut butter might taste good for a hobo this flavor is about to be rich pretty bad joke sorry guys get a good healthy layer of peanut butter on that chicken all right we got our crispy chicken sandwich with peanut butter i get so many suggestions with peanut butter this is probably one of the ones i'm most excited for i thought i put a decent amount of peanut butter on there but the chicken is fully overpowering the peanut butter i'm gonna try one more bite Yeah, actually, that is pretty bomb. The texture hasn't changed that much. It adds like a creaminess to it. Each bite I've taken has gotten a little bit better, actually. That's pretty delicious. Orange juice Oreos. and Oreos. Orange juice and Oreos. I tried that shit, dude. It's actually pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just like having cereal with orange juice. It's not bad. Okay, well, I haven't done that. Wait, what the f What the f did you just say? You've ever tried that? Hell no. 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 I've never tried that. C cinnamon with Toast Crunch with... With orange juice, that shit's good. I'm not gonna say I'm fat, but I eat like a fat ass. <laughs> this guy said he ate his cereal with orange juice as if it was a normal everyday thing. I can honestly say I've never done that, but I'm very interested. I don't really eat sugary cereals that much anymore, but if I had to, it would 100% be Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's not as good as I thought it would be. Brother, stick to milk. Cinnamon in the orange juice is just not a good combination. I was expecting so much better. I put jelly on my hamburgers. You put jelly on your hamburgers? I put jelly just right on top of the, on the top bun. What kind of jelly though? Strawberry, grape, it didn't matter. I got the idea from Spongebob. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm gonna put jellyfish jelly in the Krabby Patty. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try that. Amazing. I've got to tell someone about this. That's probably enough. Adding some jelly to the burger, to the top bun, just like this guy said, and just like SpongeBob makes. That's actually way better than I thought. Mmm. I'm gonna have a hard time not finishing this. This is really good. Okay, hold up. Before you leave, let me treat you to something. It's a quick food joke. What do you call an avocado that's been blessed by the Pope? Holy guacamole. <laughs> God, I'm desperate. Please like the video.